It is March 4th, 2020. This is episode 4 of The Gear Swap. Is it safe to go alone? I don't know. We are live on Twitch. I got myself brought, and I've got 10k Christian with me here today. Birdie Hello, is everyone. off. Birdie is off tonight. She has some other commitments. But she will be joining us again in the future. So, tonight you're stuck She's with the boys. She's here in spirit. She's here in spirit. Wednesday is for the boys. Wednesday is for the boys. So, we have a lot going on. A lot going on this week. There's some big announcements coming up. Um, I did have it scheduled to be at the end of the show, but I think it may bump it up to the beginning because of some requests. Uh, from the chat because yeah you know people got stuff they got to do so uh, first of all as always we're going to go over our weeks uh, Christian lead us off how was your week you had a busy week too oh yeah I had a busy week but not at iCombat I was at C2E2 the convention at the McCormick Place in Chicago uh, had a fun time I talk about it in my YouTube channel and uh, I'm going to show you guys really quick uh, I got my autograph book going and uh, I was the cast of Ruby. If any of you guys watched that anime, they were there. I was able to get my book signed by uh, four of them out of the five. Uh, that was basically my weekend. Non-stop autographs, non-stop fun. How about you, Chris? How was everything at iCombat? Uh, let's see. That's a great question. iCombat was pretty lit. I uh, spent the whole weekend playing. Pretty lit. Um, had, uh, I actually played more games than I played in a long time, and they were fun. Uh, Defenestrate came in, he visited, uh, we had oh, him, yeah. me, Nick Birdie, game. a whole uh, bunch of regulars, uh, played tons of games this weekend. Um, all pretty good games, couple blowouts, um, but overall, a lot of good times. Uh, I got some good footage I've been uploading, uh, to the, <laughs> working was not lit, it very rarely ever is. Um, I got some good uh, good videos uploaded to the YouTube channel. I know that uh, Big Ben, uh, he got some videos uploaded as well. We got some people from Waukesha posting videos. So it's an exciting week to be a member of the social club and uh, mm -hmm. kind of taking care of the community, giving us a bunch of content. There's a lot of videos going out, and it's really nice to be able to see the map from a person's point of view, where they like to go. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just it's good for it's good for people who aren't who don't play as often. They can get a chance to look and kind of get better without playing. Uh, it's one of the things that I think is going to make the place a lot better is just having better average skill level, so that we don't have to worry about team balance as much. Mhm. Mm That'd be cool. That's for sure. Um, right off the bat, I want to say hi to all of the people in the chat. I'm going to give you the shtick right now. Uh, if you are following us and you are subscribed, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Hearts to you. I'm going to hit you all with the uh, with the emote. I am working on the second one that we unlocked last week. So let's get those kecks in the chat. Um, I want to see <laughs> if you're chat. not if you're not following and or subbed. Stick around. We had some generous people last week. Uh, we got 21 subs dropped on the chat, so that'll get you access to all those emotes, and it'll get you access to some of the other stuff that we're going to have coming down the line, including more emotes and some uh, prizes, potentially, because we're getting close to doing a cash out here. Uh, if you are a member of Amazon, Jeff Bezos is kind enough to give you $5 to spend on a streamer of your choice. Go ahead and uh, hit your your Twitch Prime sub and give that to us. We appreciate it. All right, got some mods in the chat. Hello, everyone. I'm going to give some shout-outs before we get going here. We got Burn. We've got Big Ben. We got Old Fat and Slow Boom Nasty. Ed, Daft. Yeah, we got everybody in here. Currently sitting on 18 live members. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, we stream every Wednesday at 9.30. Come watch it live. It's a good time. Twitch.tv slash Boomchild. All right, that's enough of the shtick. What do you say? You want an announcement? All right. Should we do an I'm announcement? I'm ready for the announcement. Oh, I'm ready for an announcement. How about the chat? Does the chat want the announcement? Ooh, everyone. <laughs> yeah, by old fat and slow. <laughs> do it. Yes. All right, uh, cool. All right, um, cool. I will give the quick announcement now, the full detailed announcement at the end of the show. 
the beta test worked very well for the 1v1 solo league that we tested this last weekend. We are going to be going live in two weeks. Full this details. 1v1's happening! Yes, 1v1 league is happening. I know it's old news if you're in the beta group because I announced it in the group. Uh, what we are going to be doing is taking registrations over the next two weeks, limited to 16 players only. The first 16 players that sign up and pay for the league, it is a paid league. Very minimal fee, $20 per player. All going to go toward prizes. Um, thank you very much for that sub there. Uh, we got Ben, looks like, given out two free subs in the channel thank you very much oh um we are going to be giving out or i'm sorry we're going to be having 16 spots open in the first uh iteration of the league it is a nine week league it will run for nine weeks consecutively you will be submitting a score to me which will get rated in seven categories uh you are playing against another player in the league um and then at the end of the league champion wins we're going to have a plaque i'm going to get it's going to have a history of the league champion tons of fun stuff but that's just the synopsis uh stick around to the end of the show tonight i am going to be doing a question and answer about the league and i'll should go over all of the documentation by the way this is open to all the fields all you the will fields, be able so... to compete against chicago madison mm -hmm. waukesha michigan all four fields uh, during the testing, we found that the scoring was consistent enough across the fields. Everyone's invited. All right, that, that being said. Means if you all have beef with someone across the fields, this is the time. This is now. Absolutely. Nine weeks. It'll take nine weeks to settle it. See who's Ab better. Absolutely. All right. So Competition is great. It is why we play. People asking for the Venmo already. That's going to be... i got to give everybody a for fair chance, Venmo. so we're going to announce that at the end. Um, if you do, I'm going... If you're watching live, that is... I'm currently posting the email. It's bge1v1 at gmail.com. Go ahead and email that with your initial interest in joining the league. And because I'm unprepared, you're going to have to give me a second here. I have to get to a different part in my uh, my database here. But I will also give you the link for the sign-up sheet. Sixteen players, guys. Mm -hmm. Only sixteen of you can That's get correct. it. That's correct. Sixteen players only. First come, first serve, guys. All right. So this is a link. Copy that. All right. I'm going to give everyone ten seconds to get the chat open if you're not... Get the chat open. I'm going to put the link to the registration form. Remember, two important things. Number one, you have to fill out the registration form in order to get into the league. Number two, you have to pay your full, your full, uh, your full dues, which is $20. I will accept credit cards. I have a Square account. I can't take credit cards, but it's a $21 fee because I'm not losing 5% just because I can't. I'm putting all the money back into prizes. All right, 10 seconds is up. Here comes the link. Ooh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Click away. First Follow 16. that link and go and sign up. All right. Well, people are doing that and they're not paying attention. We're going to move on to the top 10s. <laughs> oh, yeah. Top 10s. This week was pretty good. We got, uh, we got our regular top 10s and then we got a monthly top 10 that's going to go on this week. So. All righty. Bam. Over. Oh, that's a spoiler. Oh. oh no, what have I done? <laughs> oh god, don't look at that. Oh jeez. Oh god, I'm no. ruining it. Oh, what's going on? Just pretend <laughs> it was never there. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> pretend it. it was never there. <laughs> we fixed it. All right. So this is our uh this Woo! is our top 10 for the week. We've got our first location is always Chicago. Uh always I'm going to do the quick rundown and then we'll talk about them. So in 10th place this week, we got Tactical 88. 22,000 points with a 162 KDR. Ninth place, Brown Squirrel. 22,000 points. 252 KDR. Number eight, Commander Irwin. 23,000 points, 173 KDR. Number seven, The Owl. 31,000 points, 293 KDR. Number six, Killer Cobra. Taking a little slide. Oh, Hitting 38,000 points, but coming in with 364. 
Then we've got number fifth, Pew Pew Bratz, 4,000 points and a KDR of 238, 234. Good job, my bad. Chris. Thank you. Good job, Chris. I played a lot of sessions. Number four is Pew Pew Defenestrate, 46,000 points and a KDR of 242. Number three, we've got Speed Runner with 52,000 points and a KDR job, just Joey. under two at 199. Good Second job, place, Joey. we got Ben Big Mac, or as Reyna oh. calls him, Ben Big Black, coming in with... Oh my gosh! 50, yeah, she, she mispronounced his name, and also uh, Defenestrate is now Pew Pew Defender, so enjoy that one. Um, ben, ben Big Mac with 58,000 points and a KDR of 229. First place at Chicago for the week is Pew Pew Sean's 80,000 big points. All right, 392 KDR. All right. I'm what do we seeing think? a but right off the bat, I'm seeing a bunch of high scores. Everyone must have played a lot, like a lot, a lot. Yeah, Chicago this week was packed. Uh, Friday night there. there was I think two full, two or three full sessions. Um, Saturday from one o'clock until I think eight or nine o'clock, it was packed sessions. Really, yeah, all the, the way only, down. Yeah, full day. The only session that wasn't full was the 10 o'clock 10 o'clock session didn't fill all right and then the um the, the the rave filled at the last second then they had a private at midnight oh lots of work to be done yeah lots so of work. it was a lot of work um some uh some overviews because i was there for most of the day um mm -hmm. sean had some amazing games obviously he had a kill streak of 42 that's gross um, a KD of 3.9? Yeah, 3.9 yeah, KDR. Get, That's disgusting. I see people it. that are signing up in the thing. That's amazing, guys. Remember, 16, first 16 are getting in. I should probably post this on Facebook, too. Hey, Chris, you talk about this. I'm going to post this on Facebook so people don't miss out. Uh, Talk about this. All right. Uh, Cool. So, basically, I think I'll just go with the... Should we just do our usual top three? And then that's kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Give, him a, we... give, him, give him a quick synopsis. So I know you weren't there, but uh, just hit the details. Yeah. Based off uh, how I can see it and based on how well I know these guys, number three, we got Speedrunner. We got Lil Joey. He's coming in at – sorry if I'm looking to the right because my uh, scoreboard's on my uh, TV screen, everyone. I don't have my laptop today. But basically, we got 52,000 points with 643 kills and a KD of 1.99, a little bit of shy of – a little bit of shy of 2 KDR, and a kill streak of 26. That is actually one higher than my highest kill streak. My highest kill streak is 25. I just want to say congrats to Joey. He's just he's doing really good so far. He's been playing a lot, and he's like I can see his play style change throughout the time that he's uh, come in to play. And he he's been playing a lot more shanty. I'll say that he's playing a lot more shanty when he gets out there. And then number two, we got. Well, I just got your notification, Chris, on Facebook. Uh, yep, went spamming in the Facebook groups right now. Yeah, I got you, man. And then number two, we have number Ben Big Mac. Always a nice guy. Really tilt-proof. Really non-toxic. With a score of 50, 50, 58,000. Yeah, 58,000. A little bit shy of 59. 937 kills. Almost 1,000. That That's how much they've been playing? Yeah, yeah, it was growing. Oh, yeah, People like were playing all weekend. Light. Oh yeah, like you said, uh, Saturday, everything up until the, everything up until ten, and then they had a private, Ooh. with a KD of two point two nine and a kill streak of fifteen. I'm gonna assume, based on what I'm seeing, like a lot of objective games were played, or he did play a lot of objective, you know, because of all that. Mm -hmm. All but right, he's been. You wanna? Uh, yeah, I have an update. We've already had one? eight people oh, sign yeah. up in the What's forums. Up? Whoa! Half the spots are potentially we're, taken. We're halfway there. If this gets too wild, I may expend it. But it's currently built for sixteen players for the first season, as to not overwhelm me. Mm -hmm. I'll take more if people want to play. But let's see how this goes first. Anyways, yeah, yeah keep yeah. on, keep on going. Keep on going. All right, Ben Big Mac, the way I know him. Do it adjust to others' play style. He will always make sure that everyone has... He will always cover the spots that needs covered. He is willing to adjust to his team. He's a really nice guy also. Also gives out really good tips to his team. 
nothing but encouragement. Does never talks down to his team. That's what I like about him. Mm-hmm. And he's always itching to play. Like a set, it could it it. He's like one of those guys that's really good that he could turn a dead session into at least like a three v three, six v six type thing. You know, he can always encourage others to play. Yeah. And then number one, did you want to take over, Chris? Yeah, Sean. Sean. Oh. Sean, Sean is um. He's like the epitome of the the person that you want to run into at Icon. But he'll teach you what you're doing wrong. He'll help you if you have any tips. Uh, uh-huh. Everyone knows Sean. That's in the chat. I mean, we don't really need to. We need. We don't need to beat this into the ground for Sean. He's uh, a, a a staple. As I stutter out of my mind, he's a staple of the community. Bye. Puts together things. They're gonna go down to Missouri at the end of the month. Uh, hopefully we can recruit some more people down in O'Fallon there. Uh, extend our our reach a little bit. But yeah, Sean's a great guy. He gets the job done, and he knows how to put some uh, lasers downfield. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's Chicago. Uh, we're gonna. We got a. We got, we I got... just wanted to sorry, sorry. No, I just wanted okay. to say really fast. Yeah, we just we need a mock like draft pick of our dream team. You know, like that would be a good content, I think. Hmm. Interesting. I did do a post about that in the uh, in the social club the other day. Pick like your apocalypse yeah. team. Yeah, zombie apocalypse. What I'm talking about. If you were to enter another guy combat tournament, what team would you draft? Right. I know you have your team and everything, but like, let's see, like. Yeah. No, let's, uh, let's like just it. seeing how you like everyone would like pick their own team like right. how maybe if you want to pick a new team you can pick a new team i know i got a team i bet birdie has a team and everything yeah probably um it's a good idea you know what i'm gonna add it to the list of topics for the future uh friend said shots fired Dream team. okay cool all right our next uh, location is madison uh let me pull up the uh the top the top 10 here but we got uh looks like we got big ben in 10th that looks like a newer player level 41 uh 18, no points with a 375 kdr that's a ton of kdr for a new player whoa uh nine is knees duts making another appearance Twenty thousand points <laughs> 154 good name is always good name. always it's these names are great i love it madison's got some of the best names uh eighth creativity place, yeah eighth place pajama pants twenty two thousand <laughs> with a 167 kdr Seventh place, JD Jenkins, twenty six thousand points, two seven three KDR. Max twenty and sixth with thirty one thousand points and a one sixty five. Fifth place, we got Zephyr, uh, thirty almost thirty seven thousand points with a two two four. Number four, we got Rainbow, thirty seven thousand points with a KDR of four seven five. Good gosh. Uh, mm-hmm. Third place, Stormy Dungeon. Just kidding, that's Stormageddon. 43,000 points, and a KDR of 208. Second place, Doki, 52,000 points with a KDR of 193. And in first place for the week, Barney Stinson, 61,000 points, and a KDR of 342. Ooh. Um, Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm stalling on my end so I can get my uh, notes from Fern up here. But, oh yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Do your thing, do your thing. Cause I did, I was not prepared. So we have our, uh, we have our our notes from Fern. That's live for the moment up in Madison. So, big thank ben. you, Fern. Yeah, thank you as always. Thank you to all of our contributors. We got we got notes from all the fields this week again. Uh, big Ben is happy to see on the top ten. He's been working a lot. Hasn't been able to play much, but when he first started, he didn't get many kills. Now he's getting a feel for the field and he knows the routes. Winky face. Knees Duts, another employee, starting to get to know more. Cool guy. Enjoys the session no matter what. Comes out, has a big smile on his face. I'd hope that from a guy whose name is Knees Duts. <laughs> yeah, funny guy. Yeah. Uh, eighth place, Pajama Pants. Um, plays uh, with him along with Flo and Wally. They are great people on and off the field. Usually puts in about two sessions, but he pushed himself to double that up to four this week. Putting him firmly in eighth place. Well done there. JD Jenkins comes in every other week. High kill streaks during games. Uh, hard to guess where he's gonna be. He's very sneaky. Uh, getting really close to his first star. Yeah, he's level forty nine there. He's gonna be a, a general announcement pretty soon. Um, uh-huh. word is he's trying to beat Doki to get the first star. A friendly competition, I see. I like this. All right. All right. Uh, next up, we've got Mac. 
Uh, shows up late. Great addition to the team. Uh, da 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 da. Oh, here's a good description. If you know Juan Left Shark, uh, apparently this person really uh, reminds him of uh, the real Left Shark. Enjoys the play and always brings the team together. Has a great time. Zephyr, uh, gentleman's name is Zach. Returned after a while. Uh, probably Kay. He was here last week. He was on the top ten last week. Whale face. Uh, does really good in the session. Rushes to spots where he's needed. Dies and rushes back out. So, uh, ooh. Donkey, not much of a challenge. We got some, we got some oh, competitive chatting right. going on in the chat right now. This is what the one v one is for, guys. Try yeah. and go join it. Join I went it. for the one v one. Let's see who's really the winner. Let's go. Let's. Uh, you get a plaque <laughs> proving that you're the best of that of that league. So I, I already have way too much stuff to plug. This is getting ridiculous. Oh jeez. Uh, <laughs> Rainbow, uh, Rainbow making the top ten again. She did a wonderful job getting the highest KDR of the week. Uh, great support player, really pushes the objectives, and as a personal note, she's amazingly well, good, amazingly well, amazingly good at keeping her team safe. She will go out of her way to make sure that her team is protected. Oh, that's good. Team player. Make sure the new people are having a fun time. <sighs> Absolutely. Uh, taking a sip of the old diet pop there. Uh, Stormageddon. Uh, Cody out, hasn't, uh, hasn't been on the list lately, but he is on the top 10. Just had a birthday. Glad to see he came out to celebrate. He is a ridiculously good player, plays on legendary and large sessions, and enjoys the challenge. Happy birthday to Stormy Dungeon. Uh, we got to get up there and play with you again. Stormy it's been a while. Dungeon. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. Wait a second. Wait a second. Am I What's going? up? Oh, never mind. I'm just looking at the chat and getting getting confused here. Um. Anyways, number two, Doki. Uh, Doki, according to Fern, is not scoring up to where he should be right now. Uh, he got second place this week compared to last. He went down in his stats, but he's still in second. So, um, maybe his, uh, play skill was a little bit lower. Maybe he took a week off. I don't know. I don't know, man. Doki, you gotta pick it up for next week. And he's trying his best. He's he trying is, his best. He is. That's all we can care for. Mm -hmm. Um, Barney. Uh, Barney is a front page world. Uh, Knocking it out for Madison again, uh, putting up tons of points. Low key catching up to him, uh, to Fern that is, and it's making Fern want to play a little bit more. Uh, great challenge in any session, and he will do whatever he can to flank and beat the opposing team. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you to live for the moment, aka Fernando, aka the man that keeps the gear working up at Madison. We appreciate your input and. We are moving on to our next location, which is Michigan. Michigan. Oh, my combat. Yep, my combat. The wolf pack. The wolf pack. Red heck. Dawn. <laughs> All right, we're going to blast through these really quick. Looks like, mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like we got uh, notes that match up with our top 10 this week. Perfect. So, in 10th place, we have JFG, 33,000 points with a 675 KDR. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. Um, we've got Tyler in ninth place with 33,000 points and a 273. Eighth place is Snake with 37,000 points and a 176 KDR. Number seven, Thermit the Frog, 45,000 points and 2.1 KDR. Number six, falling out of the top five for the first time is Jelly Bean, 49,000 points with a 246 KDR. Number five is 10 PM, 60,000 points, 316 KDR. Number four is Sharpshooter, 60,000 points with a 295 KDR. Number three, Late Apex, 64,000 points, 237 KDR. Number two, Black Attack, dropping back down to second with a 75,000 point week and 244 KDR. And number one, reclaiming the top spot, Meth Morrow with 118,000 oh. points and a 6.7 KDR. Whoa. Congrats to him look. reclaiming the number one spot with a ridiculous look at all KDR. Those kills. It's a, a casual oh, 1,500 man. kills on the dot. On the dot, this guy. KD of 6.7. Like, yeah, it's it's wild. Woo. Um, tons tons of videos go up every week in the the My Combat Players Club. Uh, as long as you know somebody from the field or you're you're friendly with uh the the social club, I would probably recommend that you go join them just to check out some of their field. Really small field. If you're familiar with Shanty, it's a little bit larger than Shanty. 
Um, but it's a lot more wide open. They don't have all the structures in the middle of the field. Uh, look in the comments. Switch kills. Black attack took Saturday off. Ah, uh, there you uh, go. Everyone, everyone needs to rest, don't they? Or yeah, whatever they got going on. That's true. Eye um, combat is it's it's physically tired. It's yeah, like physically it's ridiculously spinning. tiring. Um, just just absurd. Um, our Michigan correspondent is Redneck, aka Razor, aka Mister Dumpin Subs in the chat. Uh, his his notes on the top ten this week. We have JFG in tenth. Loves to stay low, hard to see. Typically, can find him roaming around the middle of the field in the police station. Uh, Tyler, uh, not a lot of input. Uh, we are gonna need some chat input on Tyler if you play with him this week. And go ahead and put some feedback in there. Get him some shout outs. Uh, eighth place snake uh, tends to stay in the middle of the back. Great team player. Uh, he will shoot some MFers. MFers. <laughs> I, pr- I try hard not to swear in the channel, so yeah, I know. In case it's this ever gets thing. huge one day in the future, I don't want to have to go back and edit all these videos. I know. Uh, eighth place, uh, we already went over. Seventh, Thermit the Frog moves around. Tons, police car. And the AC room. Jelly Bean holds the middle and the back side of the police station. Not easy to see. She's a small target and she she does the lean. All of up. Yep. Okay. Yep. Got it. That's all She's I had great. to hear. Wonderful player. Uh fifth place, ten PM. Uh quick mover stays low. Not an easy target. Great at objectives and holding corners. That's a great skill to have because positional mm-hmm. play is huge in most of these games. Uh, fourth place sharpshooter hold the points and he can take a run uh, great team player quick on the trigger great at surviving apex and third man of many talents will hold the police building it looks like the police building is a popular spot over on their field uh, he can run like a maniac and he can also spawn tramp people in the base oh. uh, black attack Look coming in that. in second middle is his domain he'll go for that center tube and knows how to rack up those kills and meth morrow Short and simple, one of the best players in the game. Let's get you in the tournament, and I'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I'll give it to you for now, but we need to get you in a tournament, sir. Uh, moving and sweeping and holding the roof and everything in between. Oh, apparently we got some updates. Tyler is a newer player. Uh, he is uh, in their league that they do out there. They have a weekly league. I think oh. it's a six-on-six or seven-on-seven seven league. Uh, they play once a week. I Do combat. We need another tournament, please. Yeah, I combat. If you're listening, give us a tournament. I'll organize we all it. Need it. I'll run it. Just let us do it. Just throwing that out there. I know you're watching. Yep. I know Megan watches. She likes the video every week. I know Pudge watches. Just saying, we'll do it. We know. All right. So that is that is Michigan. Tons of scores. You'll notice that their uh, their low score is kind of like the mid range on the other top tens. Mm-hmm. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to our last and final location, we've got Waukesha. Waukesha. Waukesha is brought to us by Frog Champ. Thank you, Frog Champ. You are uh, doing doing you, work Frog. out there. We appreciate your contribution. Uh, I'm going to do a little different this time. I'm actually going to read the description as we go through this. So 10th place, we got Frog Champ himself. 15,000 points with a 392 KDR. His own biopsy is... Biopsy, that's not the right word. His own synopsis. Uh, <laughs> don't know who he is. Okay. Uh, only heard that he doesn't like dying much. Top of the markets where you find him. He just started a YouTube channel named after his username, Frog Champ. Uh, so go check I saw out. one of... Yeah, I saw. I watched one of his videos of him playing a team deathmatch. Every time, every time game starts, upstairs he dies, comes down, goes right back up. Yeah, the upstairs on their field is huge. Um, also has some videos where they show off the IR grenade. If you haven't seen that, Jeff's kiss. It's a good time. Ooh. All right, number nine is sixes and sevens. Junior, that's a pretty familiar name. Uh. So much energy usually does same thing every session, but he does it very well. Doesn't play often, but he plays like he owns the place. Really? Hmm. Really? <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that one fly. That'll slide this week. I enjoy a good pun. That was good. Slip him in again next week. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm not losing it. We're good. 
I'm uh, a little bit of that. That made me laugh. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, no, a good pun is is always fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, eighth place. We got Airvan, seventeen thousand points, five seventy six KDR. It uh, doesn't seem like he ever has a bad session. Still has the aimbot and wall hacks. Nobody is looking into it. So, uh, yeah, Jeremy, you got to look into your boy Airvan up there. Sounds like he might be cheating the system a little bit. <laughs> aimbot and wall hacks. <laughs> okay. Coming in seventh, we got J Bakes, nineteen thousand points and a two ninety four KDR. Uh, J Bakes, we talk about him every week so far. Uh, he's been on the move. And he's uh, having a lot of fun playing. So we appreciate seeing him up there every week. Another great tournament player. Number six is Unicorn Rage. 19,000 points. 198 KDR. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Found out about the podcast. Had to make the list. Awesome. Welcome to Unicorn Rage if you're out there. We appreciate you watching. Subscribe. Follow. Gift a sub. No, you want to. Uh, anyways, Unicorn Rage. Uh, typically over in the ghetto, lower market, and the top market. Fifth place, Fell Dark. That's a 24 rank player. Uh, 24,000 huh. points. Looks like 10,000 for each of his levels. And a 132 KDR. Uh, newer regular. Seen progressing through. Not afraid of the regulars. Other regulars. And loves playing against them to learn more each time. That's the only way you get better. You gotta play more. How do you feel about that, Chris? Always helps to play people that are better than you. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm always glad when more regulars sign up as first sessions I'm in. Yeah, yeah, if you're playing against people worse than you, you can't get better. So play against those difficult players. Uh, fourth place, Frankenstein. 26,000 points, 234 KDR. Uh, Frankenstein respawns. It is a scary moment. He'll use those seconds against anybody. Uh, looks down the road and it takes one of those three seconds to kill you. So that's a player that's using the most out of his time. Uh, that's really good. Yeah, it's a really, really, really good. good pro tip. For no players. time wasted. Yeah, no time the minute wasted. you hit that button, you hit that first beep, you got to be shooting or moving. Uh, da -da -da -da. Third place, Ash Away. A lot of progress. Single fire is where she's staying. Uh, but doesn't look like she's rusty. Uh, always good at sniper. Top of every game. And that is a 28,000 week with 275 KDR. Uh, 275 KDR is a... <laughs> I'm going to ignore chat for a second. Uh, 275 KDR. That's impressive when you're playing single fire. Uh, I don't think I could ever do it. I'm no, going to be honest. No, that takes a lot of discipline. It's triple tapping. Yeah. Uh, something to note for players who haven't been playing since day one. Uh, back in the original uh, iCombat days, uh, it used to take two kills to kill a player. And the weapons that they used were M4s, uh, which you had to actually go back to base and reload if you ran out of ammo. Uh, so most of the old players do play on single fire or they had played up uh, until the SMGs came out on single fire. Um, a lot of them still do it. Um, that's why a lot of the accuracies are ridiculous for some of these older players. Um, I use the term older as descriptive, not in the pejorative. So, um, yeah, I also missed the, uh, oh, Ashley's in the chat. Welcome. Welcome to the chat, Ashley. Hi, Ashaway. Enjoy your stay. Thank you for coming by. All right. I miss the M4s. I wish I tried an M4. Oh, my gosh. Oh, like... they're great. Yeah, they were a lot of fun. I only got to play with them, with, I think, two times. It was a good time. All right. Let's see here. Second place, Turtle008. Uh, he's been playing every chance he gets. Turtle told him himself he's not going to stop playing. Just to let you know, Brats. Determination and I mean, I beef. think I think you oh, put up man. more points than me this week. Let me check. Uh, if, if that's the case, or yeah, you, you edged me this week. Good job, sir. Um, uh, still coming for you. Yeah. I just don't have the time to play like I used to. Uh, first place, Sniper Seventeen deserves the number one spot for Waukesha after completing the Elite Kill Club and All Day Long achievements. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. Uh, That's really nice. Soon we'll be completing Legendary Kill Club. That is 1,000 kills on Legendary, if I remember correctly. Why I know that, I have no clue. I didn't do any research. I I don't think I've ever played on Legendary. Huh? Really? It's an experience. I've, you should do it. It's a lot better now than it used to be. I was going to say, because, like, you know... You deal less damage, takes less for you to die. I feel like I get frustrated... 
like in the first TDM, and I probably walk out the session. See, that's so we'll like, we'll actually let's put legendary talks for for an upcoming episode, but um, it requires plays, yeah. a completely different style of play to play legendary. It takes six shots to kill, and you die in two. Yeah, um, that's two full bursts. It's you have to play for for something. Pray snipers in the session. Or, not, uh, not Sniper 17, the actual mission sniper, just to be clear. <laughs> Sniper's yeah. in the session, you're going to get killed. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm going to try to say this name, now Cake, uh, subbing with Twitch Prime. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. Or, or Blackhawk Down, if you're a ranger. No, that's and you're on bad. Legendary. Wait, what? You only Tango's have, only die in one shot. You only have 120 health. That's also true. <laughs> I'd say it's like a double-edged sword. It is. It is. All right. And that is it for our individual location top 10. Uh, being the beginning of the month, the beginning of every month, we are going to go and show you the monthly top 10. The monthly. Ooh, it's our first one, right? Yeah, this is the first monthly top 10. This will not count ooh. toward the cumulative top 10s, just so you know. This board is its own entity. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is a worldwide top 10. Uh, technically top 14. I'm going to see if there's a way I can get the 15th player on there. But uh, we have a uh, a lot of people on here. A lot of names you've already seen. And we got some new names on here. Um, I'm going to run up it really quick. Uh, if we know the people. We haven't talked about them. We'll just fill it in a little bit. Otherwise, we're just going to go through Does here. that really say Dubai? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, they get a lot of um, a lot of players out there. All right, so we've got uh, 14th place in Richmond, North British Columbia. That's an international player. One plus Mona. This is a 30-day score, by the way. 143,000 points. Uh, 13th place coming out of Dubai, United Arab Emirates. 146,000 points. Uh, number 12 is Schiller Parks Killer Cobra, 149,000 oh. points. Number 11 is Late Apex up from Michigan with 152,000 points. Michigan. <laughs> Hitting the top 10 is Ben Big Mac putting up 153,000 points. Number 9, Sniper 17 out in Waukesha hitting 154,000 points for the week. Congrats. Number 8, Thermit the Frog out in Rochester, Michigan, 159,000 points on the month. Number 7th, Sharpshooter 27, Rochester again, 170,000 points. Number 6, we've got Pew Pew Sean's 316 holding on for Team Pew Pew out of Schiller Park with 182,000 points. Number 5, cracking the top 5, Jelly Bean, Rochester, Michigan, 213,000 points. Number 4, Sponge Bob 7, X7. That is from Dubai United Arab Emirates. They've got a pretty good... We're going to have to go international to see if we can get a hold of these people. Uh, oh, that's a ton right. of points. I mean, that's why not? A, woo Let's get them in here. We need more subs, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, number three is Doki up in Madison holding it down for the Wisconsin crew. 321,000 points. That's one-third of a million points. Over the course of the month, over the course of the month, that's 11,000 points a day. Just saying. That's a ton of points. That's a lot. Second place, Black Attack in Michigan, 348,000 points. And just barely edging him out is Meth Morrow, 381,000 points. Congratulations. Good job, to guys. All of Good you. job, everyone. You Make all deserve credit on this for showing your a... determination and showing that you are really great at what you do out there, guys. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are doing fantastic. Um, Next, we have our continual top 10. We've got some shakeups here. We got people pulling away. Uh, first place still, Commander Irwin hitting four top 10 boards. Uh, second place, we're starting to thin out. Good We've job. got... Barney, Black Attack, Doki, Jelly Bean, Killer Cobra, Meth Morrow, Rainbow, Sharpshooter, Speed Runner, and Thermit the Frog all hitting three of the top tens. All After right. that, we have a ton of players at two. 
Hey, it's a tie Tons for third place. <laughs> yeah, we got a third. huge tie for third place right now. Huge um, tie for third. I did add Waukesha on there. I apologize to the folks from Waukesha. You are a week behind uh, because we did not do and cover the re- records from three weeks ago for you guys. So I apologize for that. Nice. Over time, you guys will start to catch up. Mm-hmm. So um, that is there. If you would like to see the full listing, I'm going to have... Chris, talk for a couple seconds here while I get the link for you guys in the chat. All right, guys. So, oh, this is the perfect time to make my little announcement. So, basically, my little announcement is uh, basically for Chicago. Uh, You all heard I went to C2E2. I grabbed a bunch of merchandise. And basically, it's all packed in a very huge box. And I will be bringing it to the Chicago location for everyone to just pick out of, pick whatever merchandise they want and all that. Just a little bit of me giving back to you guys because I really do love that place and I love working there. And as much as I do love playing there, I wish I had more playing time. But it's just me saying I just love being with you guys and I love you all. Perfect. The link is spammed in the chat for the folks that want to go take a look at the full listing. Hey, perfect timing on that one. That is for a a look only at the listing. There is no editing allowed there. So enjoy. Have a look around. All right. That dooby, is dooby, dude. dude, I plan on da- taking the entire box. <laughs> nice. What? Not on the list? Live for the moment, I don't see me. Well, it's because you don't play. (laughs) You gotta play more. (laughs) Anyways, we're gonna be moving on. Alright, looking at the schedule for the stream, we have... Oh, wait, I almost lied. We got uh, Corporal Wings to give out. Oh, more wings? Yep, we got more wings this week. Uh, big congratulations to Mr. X-Ray Gun, Knees Duts, and Whittle Stacks 3. Or, I guess that could be Witless Stacks 3. Um, congratulations to those players. They picked up their first level of the Colonel ranks, and they begin their 50-level march toward becoming a general. So congratulations to you guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, congrats, you guys, showing your hard work out there. Thanks for sticking with us for that long. It's always nice to have you there. And X-Ray Gun, yeah, he did really good with the shotgun two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He was catching MVPs with that shotgun nonstop. The man is changing the ELO the more he plays. Absolutely. Changing the ELO, the meta. I think I meant the meta. Wrong word. Uh... (laughs) <laughs> Look at that. We're breaking brand news here. We got uh we got people that didn't even know they got their wings yet, so congrats. Oh uh, hey, hey yo <laughs> And we got a hype train going. We got yeah. subscribers coming in left and right. We're up to thirty total sub points. Can thank you guys. We're five away from our next emote. Woo! Get the hype train, keep it coming, keep it coming. Woo woo, let's go. Okay. Um, we got to keep going. It is 10.15. We are halfway through the stream, and we've got a discussion to do about domination. That is our topic we've for the week. We've got a game to talk about, and it's an objective game, which I love. Yes, this is a fun game. This is one that everybody everybody knows, everybody's good at. Um, as always, every week, we're going to go with our, our, our resident X team leader, sometimes team leader. Uh, Christian, you know these games like the back of your hand. Give oh, us the quick yeah. synopsis of how this game is played. All right, thank you, Chris. Like I know these games like the back of my hand. Hey, that's new. Uh, little robots reference there. If you guys have seen the movie Robots. Um, but basically the way this game goes, three tubes are out in the field at three separate locations. All you need to do to turn the tube your color is by shooting the black dot on top. If allowed, it can be shot from upstairs. All you need to do is shoot it once to turn your team's color, then just play the best defense you can. Uh, And obviously, the more tubes you have that is your color, the more points you are getting per second. And the the team with the most points at the end of five minutes wins. 
I'm under a lot of pressure, so I might have missed something. Chris, did I miss anything? No, I think you got it. There's some pretty fun achievements uh, that you can get in this game. Uh, one of them that's a little bit more difficult is to win the game without your opponent scoring a single point. That's a hard one to get. Um, but yeah, domination's pretty uh, simple. It's it's uh, basically just control points. If you've ever played any type of modern warfare, Call of Duty game, uh, it's a pretty common, pretty common game type. It looks like we lost Chris, so I'm gonna keep talking here for a little bit till he gets reconnected. Oh, he's back. Is, there he is. is it? Does yeah, this work? Okay, this worked. Hey. All right, welcome back. All right, so, um, pretty much what we are going to do here is we're just gonna go over some basic strategy, um, for the game as a whole. Um, my basic input for the game is you wanna focus on two tubes. If your team holds two tubes for the majority of the game, you're gonna win. Uh huh. And basic strategy, I would always say keep equal attention on every tube because we all, like, for Chicago, they both have those tubes where they're in a building or behind a wall that sometimes people forget about them. Like, for Alcatraz, right. there's Death Row. Some people forget about it. And then for Shanty, there's the little Pac-Man building. Mm-hmm. That since it can't be shot from upstairs, I feel like sometimes the upstairs players kind of just like push it away because they can't shoot it from upstairs. Right. So that's why it's always good to have like at least someone downstairs or maybe even a new person. Just tell them like, hey, just keep going to that same tube because like we'll get the other two. Just get that same one. Yeah. That type of stuff. So like just try to keep your attention on each tube. Try to keep treat each one equally. And turn each your color. Yeah. Um, I notice a lot of players don't know how to shoot the tube when you're a brand new player. Um, yeah. A lot of people think you just have to shoot at the tube and it will change colors. No, if you're watching and you're a newer player or you're just learning how to play eye combat, uh, you actually do physically need to shoot down into the tube. Um, so that's going to be on top of it, straight down, like Chris said earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a black circle that you'll see. And then when you do connect with it, it will flash red. Uh, and then the color will change to be the um, the color of your team. So either black or blue. Or, I mean, sorry, blue or camo. Um, or if yep. you're playing with custom rules, it can be um, effectively any color. For a kid's sessions, it's red and blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've done sessions where I've changed them purple for people. That's oh, fun. really? <laughs> yeah, you can just change the color in ice. It's pretty fun. Ah, uh, okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, uh, each field, uh, we'll get to the field differences a little bit later um, and kind of the different layouts of the fields. Um, mm -hmm. For the folks in the chat that play in Michigan, um, I know when I was out there last time, you guys were tinkering with playing with four tubes. Uh, if that's still accurate, can you let me know? I'd appreciate it. Uh, but um, some, of the, some of the real basic strategy and things you can do to always help your team. Oh, wait, we didn't go over scoring for this game. Um, you get one point per second, roughly, for each tube that you have you have captured, mm -hmm. um, and every time you personally shoot the tube, I believe it is worth thirty five points towards your final score for the game. Uh, let me check the documentation, um, but I do know that you can capture a tube a maximum of ten times. Um, so that is equivalent of about a 12 to 15 kill streak, uh, if you just focus on capturing the mm -hmm. objectives. Let's go to. There was one time I was playing uh, domination. Mm -hmm. I went. My KD was two and two, but I got MVP because I was able to tap every tube at least once as I was playing the game. Right. So. Um, like, a quick correction, Domination awards 35 points per tube you capture. So you can have a maximum of 350 bonus points just for completing the objectives. I'm watching the chat and I'm just laughing right now. What's going on? Like, freaking Edward's like, I have a tank! What can you do? But it's a tank! <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Um, yeah, some, uh, some advanced strategy. If you're a, if you're a experienced player and you really want to do your best to help your team out, um, my suggestion would be to either 
Um, completely lock down one of the tubes if you know you can hold it and have your team focus somewhere else. Or push up to a semi-aggressive location where you can still fall back and capture a tube. Um, and just kind of keep the team back. Let your team do the objectives. Let your play skill kind of keep the field clear. Um, make it so that everybody can play the game. Yeah, that is very, very true. It's for advanced strategy, huh? I would have to say, this is mainly what I do. So, like you said, you just need to hold two a majority of the time to win. You can just shove a third tube away if you want to. But I would say on this one, you know how for Alcatraz, the... If you're on intake and on the left side is garbage de garbage detail, mm -hmm. but it's e and it's so it's really quick to get to, but on bus stop side, the right side, their garbage detail side, it's like I always have this thing saying that like right side dominant, uh, left side weak side, mm -hmm. because it's so easy to die when you're walking into garbage detail from intake, but if you're on yeah. bus stop you could walk into garbage detail and pop like 15 people if you so choose. So that's why sometimes I just shun garbage detail if I'm on intake and then just flip in between shower and death row because death row cannot be shot from upstairs. So if you shoot that, you'll hive it for a long time. Yeah. No, that's and a then really good point. Shower. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then shower. Obviously you can just get there with like a couple turns and uh, a little bit of walking. Right. So it's always nice to flip in between the two since uh, since I'm a huge objective player. I like this. And then death row, There's a, it can't be shot from upstairs, so upstairs regulars can't really get to it unless they take the effort to come down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually a good point. If you do hold the top, you can shoot down, at least on our field, uh, you'd be able to shoot down into garbage detail and shower, and one person can effectively hold both of those uh, if they have support watching their back. Um, Shanty Town's the same deal. Um, you can shoot two of the tubes from the upstairs area. Mm -hmm. um, over at Madison, I believe that the tubes are underneath the... Um, underneath the bell tower, which is wide open and exposed. There's one inside the military tent, which is a little bit more of a close quarters combat. Uh, yeah, and then is. the last one is inside of the clock tower underneath the staircase. Uh, a little exposed, but uh, it is not easy to get to because there's a lot of cover where you can just kind of get shot randomly when you go in there. Um, no opportunities really to shoot from the upstairs except for the bell tower. I think the bell tower you can still shoot down. Yeah. The guard towers and, and trigger that one. Yeah, I've done it. It's mm -hmm. actually pretty handy. Yeah. Uh, and then up in Michigan, let's see if they've given me an update here. Uh, it doesn't say. No, they don't use four tubes. Okay, so they're down to three tubes. So they're, their tubes, I know they have one dead center in the middle. Uh, and then they have a tube, I believe, over in the gas station area. And then the third tube is likely in the police station. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, hey I got it. Hey, 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 look at that memory. Look at that, Chris. Good job, man. Yeah, that center tube on the field is, is difficult to hold. It's wide ass open. Uh, you get blown away. You can get to it though when you're respawning. At least under the old field layout that they had, you could hit the button for the respawn, run toward the middle tube, and make it there as you were coming alive. Oh, okay. Huh. Um. All right. The gas station is like, as far as I combat fields go, their gas station is so far off to the side of the map. It feels like you're not even on the map anymore. Really? <laughs> yeah, you are significantly far away. Um, and it's really, it's like their location is an old Circuit City, kind of. So it's a really wide open area and they just have this like weird annex off to the side where it's just a gas station set up and then they have like a wall that runs along the back that you can still hide behind even beyond that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a wild, wild area. Um, 
And apparently they're incorporating the gas station more into their games, which is really cool because I love that side of the map. Um, and then police station is like a murder hall. Uh, you can just kind of shoot into the building and then some of the lasers will ricochet and kill everybody in there. No need for the grenade, just shoot in. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else did we got? And then we got Waukesha. I haven't played Domination on Waukesha in a long time. My memory serves correct. They do a tube in the mansion, a tube in the center of the market on the ground floor, uh -huh. and then uh -huh. a tube over in the ghetto area, I think it's called. Okay. Um, they have market and under... Oh, it's under the tower. Okay. Thank you, Ash. Um, under the tower ah. is the last one. I think that's the locker room, right? Yeah, that's the locker room you guys have. Um, only one of their tubes can be shot from upstairs. And I think that's even a difficult shot because it's kind of like off, not really in the middle of the area. Um, so you really have to be on those tubes to shoot them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And they have a ton of dark spaces on their map too where you enter a downstairs area and if someone's camping in there... You're dead. <laughs> you won't know no way of seeing them? Yeah, you'll know it way too late. Oh, alright. Um, so. Waka yeah, Waukesha also has a cool... Uh, Waukesha and Madison both have a cool effect on their fields, if you haven't been there. Uh, they have adjustable fields, where for Madison, they can adjust the windows that are open. Uh, so every time you go, it's a little bit different gameplay. Uh, Waukesha, they actually have entire doorways that uh, close off or open up going to the market center in the middle of the map. Mm, okay. All right. Yeah. So it's all a lot of, a lot of differences there. So they're able to, oh, they're able to change their map when the time comes. Yeah. Yeah. So if they, I think Madison does it every few weeks. Uh, I don't know what Waukesha is up to, but it's been different every time I've gone up there. So. Oh, I knew Madison did it. I didn't know Waukesha did it too. Yeah, Waukesha does it with their doorways. Ooh. Yeah. Would that be something that you think we could try to incorporate? Incorporate, sorry, at Chicago. I don't think so. I was like, I think like. Hmm. I think the best thing, the only thing you could do in Chicago because everything is so static and there's not really any windows or functional doorways in and out of buildings. Mm -hmm. Um, would be to cover the top sides of like the prison cells. So like the downstairs area, you could get a little bit more cover if you're coming through the middle. Oh, um, I see. I see what you're saying. I see yeah, what you're saying. Um, outside of that, putting any type of obstacles in the fields, it's a little dangerous because our field is also ridiculously dark. It is. Yeah, really now, dark. Changing the lighting the scheme, I think, is something that you could do. Um, and that would be really cool because then you would have to deal with different darknesses on different parts of the map. Um, but that's like fifth tier skill ability at that point if you're looking for shadows and whatnot. Mm hmm. I agree. I with... like. Um... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I like the fact that you can change your field, therefore, nothing's... nothing will be the same. And it helps you like develop your ability to adapt. Yeah. To a current situation. Yeah. So I I agree one hundred percent with Ben in the chat. Uh, Alcatraz needs to be lit up a little bit more. It's it's dangerously dark, in my opinion. But that's just me. Yeah, it gets to that point where I'm like you know I'm. I'd I'd poke my gun to see if anyone's gonna like jump out at me just to make sure I don't get hurt first. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Anytime I'm walking back to base, I keep my hand out like this in front of me. Oh, um, do you? So yeah, it's like my mouth guard that uh, Barney and Rainbow use up in in uh, Madison. Uh, oh, really? I, just, I refuse to eat a gun to the face. Uh, some kid cracked my rib one time coming through a doorway. So. Yeah, it's not very fun. Um. For the folks that are in the chat, if you have any questions or comments you want to make about domination or anything that we've talked about today, uh, feel free to toss those in the chat. Uh, we will uh, we'll do some some back and forth with you guys before we head toward the uh, final part of our stream tonight. So, mm -hmm. um, 
I really like Domination as a game as a whole. I think it's a really easy game to teach new players the layout of the fields. Um, it's a very good beginning game. It is. Yeah, you know? it's easy to understand. Uh, you just want to control the space. And for each field, it, it tells the new players where they need to go. Um, it's also not confusing. It's a really simple game. You get kills and you shoot the tubes. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it does not require a lot of brain power. <laughs> it's just, it's just flat out go kill people, shoot the tube, and kill whoever gets near it. Yeah. All right. Looking through the chat here, this is your chance to get on the stream. Um, uh, Frankenstein says Waukesha is adding more doors to their field as well. Uh, sixes and sevens Whoa. is renovating the field, so that is pretty cool. Whoa. I'm still planning on coming up there uh, sometime Tech. in the next month. So that will be fun. Oh, I want to try. A lot of complaints about the spotlight on Alcatraz. Um, the field actually didn't have those spotlights when it first opened. I don't even know if you knew this, Christian. Uh, those spotlights came in, I think, about three or four months into the field being open because the camping was so bad in the guard towers. Um, it was so bad. Yeah. So, so bad. It was ridiculously bad that um, they put the spotlight so in. So annoying. Yeah, they put the spotlights in in order to make it uh, more obvious if people were camping in the corners. <laughs> One of the unfortunate side effects is when the spotlight shines toward the other base's staircase, mm -hmm. stops everybody from coming up the stairs because you can't see anything. That's very true. That's so very true. that is a that is a double-edged sword. Powers agreeing with me, walking with my hand in front to make sure you don't run into anybody. That's good. Keep yourself safe, guys. Yeah, definitely. And don't run. Don't sprint. I know a lot of us do it. It's not safe. I admit to doing it. <clears throat> you can you can hustle at the beginning of the game because there's nobody on the field. But once you're spawning, you got to be careful. Yeah. I've seen lots of people get hurt. Um, it's better to die in the game than to actually injure yourself. Right. That is correct. That is correct. So uh, we got Fire Mandrill saying that Michigan makes minor changes uh, very often. So I know they're always working on their field. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, ben Big Mac has taken an SMG to the crotch. That is not fun. Ah! I know a couple people God. have taken SMGs to the crotch. Oh, man. Worst feeling. Yeah, it's not good. Um, to do, to do, to do, let's see what else do we got. I had a here? guy. Yeah, go ahead. I had a guy get hit so hard in the stomach he threw up. Oh shit! Really? Oh, I swore. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. Uh, womp womp. Womp womp. Yeah. Uh, uh, great. Yeah, dude threw dude threw up at intake and everything. Like. I don't like that. That ain't it. Uh, ben Big Mac saying, if you die in the game, you die in real life. Ooh. <laughs> it's called a shock belt session. I yeah. I you can find one of those. I will never do that again. That was, <laughs> oh gosh, that was something. Fire Mandrills had a broken finger in the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, lady. Oh, yeah, Who? Edward. Yeah, I remember that one. I was there. I was helping her out. Is that the tripped over and landed on her gun is that for real she, la she landed on her head landed on her gun and her head was bleeding yes it was a real thing wow that's why and then when she when she came to us we gave we like you know we patched her up incident report whole nine yards she was like my head doesn't hurt but my ankle does i was like huh we should get you an ice pack <laughs> wow that's wild yeah all right well, uh, oh, Liana's saying shock belt wasn't bad. Yeah, it's not bad unless you're playing on ten. Jeez, man, I was I wasn't jeez. Like I'm just weak. Then I was barely able to take level two. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a thing. I mean, it catches you off guard the first couple times, and then you like learn that you don't really want to get shot. Uh -huh. so you just try harder, <laughs> or you be, play safer. <laughs> um, oh my. That is, I think that's it. Any last input for domination? Hmm. 
never lose sight of objective. Right. If yeah, like I always, there's always that one guy that's like, I'm just gonna go for kills and pray that everyone will, everyone else will get the tube. It helps when everyone is going for a tube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always play the objectives. Go for the always. Tube. 350 Always. points for shooting 10 tubes. That's amazing. No lie. Yeah. That's a bunch of points. And and when you win a match, you get an extra 150% bonus to your score. Doesn't matter how many kills you have. I'll take that 50% bonus any day. Remember, I went 2 and 2, got MVP cuz I hit every tube. I've done that in a couple games. Especially yeah. if you're playing on Legendary or Elite, because then you get the extra extra Ooh. bonus. It's huge! Yeah, if you're playing Legendary, and you shoot all 10 tubes, not only is that 350 points, you're going to get an extra 150% bonus for that. That mm -hmm. is 700... Uh, what is that? 820... 875 points? Just for shooting tubes. That's a lot of points. Easy. Easy. A lot of points. All right. That is it for our conversation on domination. Next week, uh -huh. we will be going over elimination. Elimination. Right, thinking of oh. tactics, strategies. Elimination is going to be a little bit of a shorter conversation, I feel. Um, so it is we pretty are, straightforward. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to... Uh, we, may, we may toss in the second topic uh, from the list of topics that we're holding over. Um, but definitely we'll be going over elimination next week. So for the people watching in the chat, people watching on YouTube, think about what you want to talk about and come meet us in the live chat and we can uh, we can talk about it. Amish Greg says, are you two playing this weekend? Ooh, what a segue. Are you playing this weekend or are you working? I'm, oh, good news. I'm only working half shifts. I'm not working doubles anymore. Here for playing time. Uh which is awesome. I might actually play a session or two this weekend. Okay. Awesome. How about you, Chris? Um, I am actually not playing this weekend. Uh, it is my, uh, my intention to go out to visit Defenestrate at his house this weekend since he's come in so often. Uh, so I'm going to be actually leaving the yeah. area on Friday. Uh, I'm going to spend the weekend out yeah. in Iowa. Chris does, or sorry, Nick does come out a lot. He does. Yeah. Grant, it's lucky that uh, Des Moines is only about four hours or so away, so it's not a terrible drive to come back. Um, but, oh, you're going to be driving? Yeah, we're going to drive out there. Gotcha. Um, but it is a drive, so we're going to go visit him so he doesn't have to put all the miles on his car. That's good. That's good. I, I haven't played with Nick in a while. I miss that guy. Yeah, he was. he played a ton last weekend. Every time I know I had that convention. Every time he's playing, I'm working. It's like coincidence. Yeah. Uh. So some sessions in the chat that we've got called out here looks like. Uh. Ben is going to be playing Thursday, maybe Saturday. We've got Sunday at 5 p.m. for uh, Neo Cake. Uh. Cobra's trying to play Shanty. It sounds like. Um. Oh, look at that. Ben's handing out free games, too. Someone hit that man up. He's a, Yo, he's Ben! A hey, man. buddy! He's passing out subs, passing out free games. Oof. That's a man you Ed, join me tomorrow. I'll cover you for what? Boy, we work tomorrow together. <laughs> um, As always, uh, this coming week, we have the bowling stream. I'm going to attempt... The third time to stream bowling live tomorrow. Uh, that starts at 7.05 uh, local time, central. Uh, I have, once again, think I figured out my streaming issue with the GoPro. So cross your fingers. I hope it works. All right. Um, other than that, you I'm You got to up time. your average, man. I, you got to up your average. I do. I'm at 180 right now. It's what is, it is what it is. That's higher than my average. <laughs> Fair. I just got a new ball, too, so... Ah, the new ball adjustment. You gotta uh, get used to it. Yeah, powers. I appreciate that feedback. I still want to try to get it going with the full thing, but yeah. Um, I will have a backup where I'm just going to go live directly to the stream if it doesn't work going through my uh, home setup. So 
Um, that is going to be about it. Uh, we've gone over the upcoming week. If you would like to know more about the 1v1 league, I will be uh, coming back online. Uh, we'll say at 11 p.m. That'll give me a little bit of time to, uh, to close up the stream and do some signing off here. Uh, 11 p.m. I will turn the stream back on and then we will go over uh, the rules for the league. Um, I'm sure if you've already signed up, you've seen the document that I've created for it. Uh, we'll go over uh -huh. scoring, how everything works, um, and hopefully get some hype. We're already still half filled up, so we got eight spots left. So All if you right. are interested, we got spots, guys. If you're interested, got beef. sign up. We got y'all got beef. Here it is. Y'all nice. got beef. Here it is. All right, uh, Chris, give your shout outs. I'll do mine, and then we are going to end this stream right at about. An hour and a half this week. Not too bad. All right. Shout outs. Shout outs. Huh. Other than the little announcement I gave earlier, I really have nothing else to say. Oh, yeah. Funny thing. Just off topic. Really off topic. I just got I got this D20 for free. It's in my hand right now. I rolled it 10 times just now. I don't know why. Five out of those 10 times, I rolled number 13. It was so dumb. And I think this thing is rigged. Like, like no wonder why it was free. It was so weighted to favor number 13. But that's that. Other than that, got everyone in Chicago, get ready for my box of free stuff coming in, man. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going out of town this week, so you're probably not going to hear a lot from me for after Thursday. I'll still be posting on the, uh, the group. Um, I will put out information for people that need to pay me to join the league and finalize the registrations. Um, I will find a way to get in touch with you. Um, if it's, uh, quick pay Venmo, um, I'm not taking PayPal cause I hate them as a company. Um, like I said, I will have the ability to accept credit card, cash, check, whatever you need. Um, my goal is to make it easy for you to sign up. So get in touch with me. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I really want to make this one V one league really kick off and do well, uh, starts in two weeks. Um, so that puts us right around, we'll say that the 19th is the official start of the league. So 1v1 league week one starts on Thursday, the 19th, 19th through, <clears throat> excuse me, 22nd will be week one. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this video is going to go up tomorrow on YouTube. Uh, that'll be at 1 p.m. Central Time for the replay. We appreciate if you want to watch that as well. There's a live chat that'll go along with that broadcast. Uh, Birdie couldn't make it this week again. She will be back next week. Uh, she loves you all, I'm sure. She hates me, probably, because I'm doing this without her. But, um, yeah, she'll be back next Could week. Stay the same for me, then. Stay <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same for me, then. Big, big thank you to all the people that donated. I did see some bit donations. I didn't want to let those go completely unnoticed. I uh, saw some 1,000-bit uh, donations from some people, so we do appreciate that. We're getting over that threshold to take money out. Uh, as soon as we do that, we'll announce it. I will get some gift cards, and then we will be handing those out in the chat for our live viewers. Um, thank you guys so much. Without you, uh, we would have no one to talk to, and we'd be some crazy people on the Internet. So um, that's it. That's all I've got. Uh, we will be back next Wednesday again at 930. Um James, if you're watching, Christian, I know you're sitting there watching. Get the gear fixed. We need it, buddy. It took a rough week. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm going to get right on it. I'm going to start tomorrow since I work tomorrow. Awesome. All right. That being said, uh, it looks like I've, uh, I've, I've taken on a little bit of a tagline to sign out here. Uh, we're just going to keep going with it until I come up with something better. So thank you to everybody watching. Thank you, everybody, in the future, in the past. Sub, follow. Love you Subscribe. all. Subscribe. We love you all. And remember, if your gear is not working, go get a gear swap. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Right. See you next week, everyone.